Hello, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and happy Memorial Day. Let's make it a nice one and a safe one. You are what you believe you are. I love this card, man. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Everything's right inside us, folks. Grab it and run with it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 452, NASDAQ is up 348, S&P's up 87, gold contract trading up $3.90 at 1857 an ounce. We get silver up 17 cents, 22 dollars 13 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 75 cents, 114 dollars 85 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note down two ticks, 12017. The 30 year up 11 at 14201 and king dollar. King dollar's down 167 ticks, trading at 101662. Euro out here at a price point of 107. Yen 127. The British pound 126 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a classic, man. Coming into the holiday, you get a pop, and each day this volume just keeps contracting. You know, bottom line, if we look at, you know, Wednesday, you have volume of ninety-one million to spy. Yesterday, eighty-two. We're at fifty-one. You'll probably get maybe sixty-five. Um, that being said, but you know, this thing can bounce further. Um, we're at 414. You get, you get a little nice swing point that's laying out here at 429. And you're at 413. So it looks to me like that, that baby could actually get there. Now, this is how this sets up calendar wise, folks. What you have calendar wise is that we're off Monday, window dressing's Tuesday and Wednesday. So, you know, you can get a little more traction. Uh, on the way up. We'll see whether it can hold. Now, that being said, <laughs> if I put this, first I put this on a weekly. On a weekly, you can see that you're still down on volume. You're getting up on lighter volume. That can be setting up another B to C of an ABC structure down. And then when you put this on a monthly, this one here is a whole different animal, man. When I put this on a monthly, this lays to me, when you get a doji in the middle of a downtrend, you know, you can make the argument when you get a doji that that's the, the bottom. You can, that, that argument's valid for sure. My take here, though, you can see the volume already expanded. So to me, what ends up happening is that number one, the low has got to be tested. That's 380, you know, because you can see that just popped. That being said, though, if we take the top of this, the 479, you know, down to the 380, the bottom line, you get 100 bucks. Is that okay? That's the, is that the halfway move? It very well could be because it looks to me that uh, 339 is game. 339 uh, is the right where we started the pandemic. That's how this thing looks to me. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Now you're going to get, it looks to me like you probably should get the volume in the NDX today. Not the volume, but I don't think you're going to get a contraction. Because what on Tuesday we did 67 million. Yesterday you did, four, yesterday you did 59. Well, we're at 49. And if this can't, this better do 10 million shares at the close. Uh, you know, I, I suspect that's going to. Uh, the Qs, the Qs right now are 308. This can bounce to 317 pretty easily. The same spike that's applicable inside of the SPY, uh, the Qs have that spike at 330. So 330 is actually game. Gold, gold contract out here, bottom line. You know, gold's going to need a lot more conviction. There's no two ways about that. What, you have, what we have with the gold market is, you know, you're up 370, you get 29,000 contracts, that's nothing. Uh, that being said, you know, this could be set up an ABC structure in the way up. You get the first leg that's done, we'll see how, how long the you bounce all over the place on the B to C leg. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar, folks, bottom line, you know, it, it went up over the highs, couldn't hold price, pulled down, you know, off the highs, and we take this, first we put this on a weekly. You're gonna see it's pretty clear that we go back inside this 102 
979. We're at 101662. That's on the weekly. We put this on a monthly. And what you're going to see here is that you launched the last two highs. And then bottom line, you gave it up. And when you launch that, you, know, you can't bust them up. Guess what? It's going to go bust them down. This can, this can take a you know, year and a half, two years. But it looks to me like 89 is game on the way down now. You know, you can see this, this consolidation inside the dollar started in 2015. And uh, it's been basically going between the 89 and the 103 area since then. Some of the other higher volume equities out here, and this will be a low volume market. You get uh, Advanced Micros up three and a half dollars. You get NVIDIA up nine. We'll pull a few of these up too. You get, uh, let's see, Tes Tesla's up 49. Roblox, Roblox is up uh, a buck. Occidental's up 243. So let's go inside the NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Strength inside the NDX is that Zscaler? Yeah, Zscaler. That came out with numbers last night. That's up 14%. Uh, Pindoadu is up 12. Autodesk is up at nine and a half. Taken away from it. Workday. They came out with numbers too. That's down 5%. You get. Uh, Curing Dr. Pepper off 1%. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. Dow. Dow Industrials. Let's see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Whoops. One second. Dow. There we go. Okay. We pull this Dow Industrials up. We take a look at the move. Oh, look at that. Every single Dow stock is positive, folks. The leader out here today is Microsoft. That's putting 37 positive points. You get Apple putting five, five Visa four, uh, America Express three. The lowest one out here would be uh, uh, Verizon. Verizon's uh, putting one point in. Coke's putting 1.7 points in. Merck is putting 1.8 points in. So uh, bottom line is that uh, all these indices, you know, <laughs> if this, this is just such a classic, folks. It's amazing, meaning that you've been going down, coming into a holiday, you go up on light volume, we go into window dressing, and then guess what? Then you get a market again. The thing is gonna be really intriguing. This is, of course, the first weekend uh, you know, of, quote, the summer. Stay right there, folks.